This is a photo of Nyogen Senzaki, who was born in Japan in 1876 and came to the United States in 1905, settling in San Francisco and becoming one of the first people to introduce Zen to the West. In 1931, he moved to Los Angeles and established what he called a floating Zendo, giving talks on Mahayana Buddhism to small groups of Angelinos at different locations throughout the city. It was in this context that he met Ruth Strout McCandless, who would become his student, collaborator, and friend. He gave her the Dharma name Kan Getsu, meaning cold moon, which can be seen throughout their correspondence. In 1939, Senzaki began to translate and edit The Iron Flute, a compilation of Zen koans from 1783. A koan is a short story or riddle intended to override logic and encourage enlightenment. McCandless joined the project soon after, organizing the manuscript and helping with the new translations. After the bombing of Pearl Harbor in 1941, more than 110,000 people of Japanese descent, most of them American citizens, were sent to concentration camps in remote areas of the United States. Senzaki, despite over 35 years of peaceful residency, was sent to the camp at Hart Mountain, Wyoming. From there, he and McCandless corresponded regularly, continuing their work on the Iron Flute and discussing their daily lives. In the camp, Senzaki was a spiritual leader, writing elegiac poetry after a young Japanese-American soldier was killed in action, fighting for a nation that imprisoned him and his family. Or, again, after a baby died, the victim, perhaps, of poor sanitary conditions in the camp. Senzaki also, unbeknownst to McCandless, repurposed the letters that she had sent to him. He took the passages in which McCandless discussed her young sons, Duncan and Keith, and compiled them into an English reader for young wives and expectant mothers, providing both language instruction and child-rearing tips for the women in the camp. Some of the most remarkable items in the collection are these poems written on persimmon leaves. Incredibly fragile, it's a wonder they've survived. Senzaki wrote extensively about transiency and impermanence. Perhaps by writing on such a delicate surface, he was making a statement about the frailty of human existence. UCLA is honored to be the caretakers of these unique items, ensuring that these testaments to ephemerality have a permanent home. In 1945, he was released from the camp and returned to Los Angeles, where he resumed his teaching. Senzaki died in 1958. McCandless continued to edit The Iron Flute, and it was finally published in 1961. She died in 1994, and in 2015, her son Duncan brought the collection to UCLA. The Ruth Strout McCandless collection on Yogan Senzaki tells an inspiring story about an abiding friendship and collaboration that persevered through difficult years of unique hardship. Their shared commitment to bringing Zen teaching to California, so well documented by these items and papers, is a tribute to the multicultural history of Los Angeles.